If you burn candles, you need to know this. We all know that person who is constantly burning candles in their home. Maybe it's you. Indoor candles have been scientifically proven to release harmful chemicals into the indoor environment. So winter is here and killer candles are back. First, let's agree on a few things. The dose makes the poison. Toxicologists are the expert to look for when we are talking about product safety assessment. Lastly, please respect Jeff and Samantha's efforts. Please meet Jeff and Samantha. Both are hired by brands to assure the safety of your product. The brands usually aim for taking your money not to kill you or poison you and they need you to be alive and healthy for the longest period of time in this picture you see is a simulated uh, use evaluation that is used usually to get and calculate those results another interesting fact about candles no matter what is it made of be wax paraffin or leprechaun fat they will release certain type of chemicals that can are considered harmful in the correct dose because you are literally combusting organic compounds by fire to release different type of compounds that can be harmful again in the correct dose so this is the study i will use in part two talking about safety of scented candle they did actually did experiment with the large and small chamber studies so please follow and share they then collected the emission data and applied it to models to simulate what is happening in real life when you burn a candle in your kitchen living room or bedroom people enjoy burning scented candles in their home i think scented candles are one of the most dangerous things is it the most dangerous thing you can do let's find out so in this study, they actually burned candles in three experiments, one in a small chamber study and two large chamber studies. Then they took what the actual candle released, the emission data, and they used it in mathematical simulation models. One is called one box model, it's more simple, and the second it's called two box model, which is more complex. Why I'm mentioning this is because the one box model, it, because it's very simple and far away from reality, it gives an exaggerated result. The two box model is closer to reality, but that study used both of them. The quality of the study was good, but something you need to know about is the funding was done by the RIFM. The researcher burned the candle for 4 hours and they did an estimation that you will be exposed for those emissions for 24 hours. They also used the WHO, the EPA and the EU ambient air safety limits to evaluate the safety of scented candles. They found that, for example, in worst case scenario, the detected amount of benzene, for example, was twofold lower than the accepted level for a chronic exposure. For linalol, for example, it was six times lower than the safety limit. For formaldehyde, to see how far away from the safety limit up there. And here are my final words. Please pause to read.